Hey everyone, my name is Philip Precis and welcome to Marketing in a Minute. Being able to adapt is critical no matter if you're playing sports, in business or in nature. And it's exactly the same in web development. Responsive design, it's a web design principle that makes a website fit in multiple devices. That means no matter how your visitors come to your website, using an iPhone or iPad or Android device, they could read, navigate your site very easily every single time without having a mobile site specifically for them. So why bother with responsive design? Well, let's think about it for a second. When your clients are coming to your website, they could be using multiple devices as I just mentioned. You don't want to change their experience and make them adjust to your website automatically. You let your website do all the work. Don't forget, your website's the tool, not the client. There are two essential components of responsive design, content and planning. One, let's talk about content first. Before you actually get everything down on paper, you actually think, have to think about it on multiple devices. What it's gonna look like on the iPhone, iPad, and sometimes a 27 inch screen on a desktop computer. If you optimize properly from the beginning, think about paragraphs, how long they go for, and adding pictures in the right area or videos would mean a better responsive design every single time. So how to apply this? You have to think about what people see, what people read, and what sort of experience they're gonna have on multiple devices when they're looking at your website. You've gotta consider the content is gonna be for an iPhone, a screen about this big, compared to a 27 inch screen about this big. You don't wanna ramble on on your website, you have to get to the point, especially when someone's looking on the device, on a device, you have to consider short, short sentences to the point and very punchy. Number two, planning. Planning is a deal breaker when not done right. You have to prioritize, make some things relevant, and always have a call to action. For example, if you're a restaurant, you wanna make sure you have your opening hours and your booking form always at the top. You're prioritizing information. Relevant information comes a little further down. For example, your menu. And of course, the last thing you wanna do is get people to contact you as easy as possible, and that's where the call to action comes into play. Responsive design is the future. Please remember these four important key questions you should be asking yourself. How do your customers use your site? Do you have an emphasis on content? Do you have relevant pivot options when you're moving your device? Is everything super clear? And always remember, this is all about the client, their experience, and the outcome, usually for you. Thanks everyone, my name is Philip Parisis and thanks for joining me on Marketing in a Minute.